Hello friends, welcome to Virtual Math Class, and today we're going to practice subtraction using strategies, word problems, and number sampling. Vocabulary, so remember, subtract plus subtraction means to take away. Okay? And if you notice, there's an X showing taking away one of the lollipops. Okay? And then our minus sign is a symbol that means to subtract or take away. All right, so subtraction means to take away. So this is just an example of how to subtract. So for example, there were five ducks in the pond first. Okay. Two ducks swam away. How many ducks are left? So remember when you subtract, you take a big number and you make it into a smaller number. Okay. So looking at our number sentence, we have the number five first because first there were one, two, three, four five ducks okay and then minus means to take away okay? and minus two because we took away one two ducks okay equals one two three because there were three ducks left okay now we are going to practice using our strategies and we're going to place an x on what needs to be taken away just like you did yesterday with the pelican and the other animals, okay? So listen carefully to the word problem. Miss Blanks had four jelly beans. She gave three jelly beans to her little brother. How many jelly beans does she have now? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to place an X on what needs to be taken away, okay? So I'm gonna listen carefully and read this again. Miss Blanks had four jelly beans. One, two, three, four. She gave three jelly beans to her brother. Okay. So that means I need to take away three jelly beans because I gave three jelly beans to my brother. Okay. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So one, two, three, and three. How many jelly beans does she have now? Okay. So after I gave three of my jelly beans away, how many jelly beans do I have now? Okay, this is the only one I have left. Okay, so I'm just gonna count it one. Okay. So now I'm gonna look at my answer choices and I'm gonna figure out which one shows how many jelly beans I have left. Okay. Now I know that I don't have three left because I remember I gave one, two, three away to my brother. Okay? Three of my jelly beans got taken away because I gave them to my brother. So I know that that one is not the answer. Okay? So I can put an X here. So that's not the right answer. Okay? Now, when I look at my picture, I notice that I have one jelly bean left. So my answer is one. So I'm just gonna fill in that bubble. I have one jelly bean left, okay? And how I know that is because I had to subtract, okay? And in my word problem, it said I had four jelly beans, but I gave three jelly beans away to my little brother, okay? So three of them got taken away. I had to subtract three, and I was left with one jelly bean, okay? Let's go to the next one. All right, so this one requires you to pay close attention and think and concentrate really hard because now you're going to have to find the number sentence that matches the word problem instead of writing it. Okay, so listen carefully. Isaiah had two chicken nuggets. He ate one of them. How many chicken nuggets does he have now? Pick the correct number sentence. Okay, so remember when we subtract, we make the big number into a small number, okay? So, how many chicken nuggets were there first? Okay. There were two. One, two. So, we're going to write our big number first, okay? And then I'm going to write a minus sign because I know minus means to subtract and subtract means to take away, okay? And I see an X already here, so that lets me know that I'm taking away something, so I need to use minus. He ate one of them, okay? So, how many chicken nuggets got taken away? Yes, just one because there's one X. So, I'm going to write 
a 1 here. Okay. Now I'm going to write my equal sign. Okay. Now how many chicken nuggets does he have left? Okay. So he had two chicken nuggets and then he ate one of them. So one of them got taken away. So how many are left? Yes, one. So I'm going to say equal one. And my number sentence says two minus one equals one. Okay. It has two first because that was the big number because they were two chicken nuggets first. Minus one because he ate one. So one chicken nugget got taken away. Equals one because he has one chicken nugget left. So which number sentence matches the one? that Ms. Blank did. Yes, this one. Two minus one equals one, okay? Now, it can't be one minus two equals one because that would mean that Isaiah had one chicken nugget and he ate two of them, okay? If you have one chicken nugget, you can't eat two or you can't take away two because you only have one. So that one can't be the right answer. Okay, the correct answer is 2 minus 1 equals 1. Okay. All right, now you will complete your assignment. You will practice subtraction using word problems and number sentences. Your assignment will be posted below the video. All right, make sure you're focused and thinking really, really hard.